everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm your instructor, Joy. Let me first play a tune for you. So this was a little excerpt from one of the famous Beethoven sonata, Spring Sonata. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you all for your kind support, generous donations, booking lessons with me, supporting me here on YouTube channel as well as on my Patreon page. I really, really appreciate. Playing fast passages is one of the continuous trouble for most of us. And we were told all the time by our professors and teachers saying, relax and relax. And we're saying, we're thinking, like, we're trying to relax, but what is it exactly? Why can't I get faster? Why are we having a hard time to get faster or play relaxed? What does being relaxed actually mean? But if you think about it, 100% relaxation is like totally lost of control. So it's not 100% relaxation. It's a certain degree of relaxation, just enough so, to, so that we can move our left fingers fast enough, but having enough control so that you can still have certain weight at the each fingertip and then so that you can play the notes in fast tempo. So there's a lot of things going on. So I'm going to show you a simple, simple physics, so to say. So let's say, I'm just putting my violins down. Um, so let's say if I want to grab a pencil, this is an end result that I want. I want the pen on my right hand. I can use all my, all my force and then grab it, option one, or I can use it with a very lightly and then grab it. The end result is same, but as you saw, obviously, first time I wasted a lot more energy than second time. So when teachers say uh, relax means do relax in a certain degree until you can achieve certain technique with a minimum of effort. So how do we achieve that one? And so basically, the concept is this one. Um, of course, when you see professionals playing, they, they hold it, they play notes very, very easily as though the violin is part of their body and the left fingers move so closely to the fingerboard, looks very easy. But what, actually what it happens is they learn to release the weight of each finger after playing. And so it looks effortlessly instead of us trying to play. Not only that, so when you, in order to get there, it's, it, there's many, many little steps that has to be made. So from zero, now I only can grab the pencil or I can meet the notes or I can find the notes with somewhat forceful way, but we're not there to move our left fingers efficiently where we can play fast notes. How do you get there from to here? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So now, just like, it's hard for, um, two-year-old to write it or three-year-old to write pencil with a very relaxed uh, pencil grip or right hand grip. It's the same thing for us when we're new to violin playing somewhat new relatively. It's very hard to get that level of relaxation the professional violins do. We can see the difference but we don't know how to get there and I was there too so I'm going to explain to you. So now when we hold a pencil first we hold it and then try to release the the tension of your hand just until the p pencil falls out of your hand. Yeah? So you have to find a way where right before the pencil falls, how it felt on your hand and the grip. So again, hold it the way you know you normally do. It doesn't matter if you use all the fours normally. Then try to release the tension on your hand. Oopsie. Right before you're about to drop. This, that moment is what we want to what we want to achieve with our left hand. How do we do that? So place your finger, let's say first finger, I'm gonna use G string so that you can uh, see better. It can be any string. Now place the first finger the way you normally do, no matter what part of what level of our violin playing is. And then just like we release the tension of our uh, or right hand grip, you try to release a finger weight by lifting lightly up but not completely off the string. Leave the finger on the string but release the bow weight. I'm not bow weight, the finger weight until start whistling. This is a moment when we just drop the pencil. 
Now, we want to get go start, go back and start again, and we're gonna start right before it starts whistling. So this was whistle, I'm gonna try to apply a little more weight. Okay, this is a fine balance. This is right, we're talking about right before we drop the pencil. Now, again, lift up finger weight, here, again third finger, try to put all the weight and then try to release that finger weight by just taking the weight off physically until it whistles and go back and apply weight again, see if you can find the, the minimum finger weight without making the sound whistle. And that's basically what it is. So now you go back to the X drop, in this case, um, Beethoven Sonata. And then you do the same thing, but slowly. So when it whistles, bring it back to the way, but a tiny bit. Like that. Yes, it takes time, but it works. It works. 99% I should never say 100% because there are always exceptions in every rules but it works every time 99% then if you want to get it up to speed what we do is now we're gonna use dotted rhythm so instead of playing so now we learn the the techniques of releasing the finger weight after each finger all right once you're done then now what we do is we do dotted rhythm so basically what it is we're putting two fingers on and releasing two finger weight at the same time so what it does it does two things so it's we're training fingers two fingers to get uh, to control the uh, finger weight and at the same time we're also teaching the finger to move faster with a little pause while we're holding long notes then you do short blow um, sorry, long shirt. Yeah, just like that. So if you've put enough time, you're gonna soon see it's not as hard as you think. But certainly, one has to put a certain amount of time. That's one of those that requires certain repetition, but with very alert mind. Yeah. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you again. Bye bye.